For billions of years, hydrogen fusion has powered the heat and light of our sun. But the mechanism behind the miracle, the conversion of hydrogen into helium by fusion, was only identified by physicists in the 1920s and 1930s. By the 1950s, the race to reproduce fusion reactions on Earth was underway in the Soviet Union, the United States, Europe and Japan. A machine called a tokamak quickly outdistanced others in performance and became the predominant concept. In November 1985, Mikhail Gorbachev and Ronald Reagan put forward the idea of an international project to develop fusion energy for peaceful purposes. The ITER project was born. The European Union and Japan joined the Soviet Union and the United States, and conceptual design work was launched. Increasingly detailed engineering work followed, until the final design of ITER was approved by the members in 2001. Five years later, with new members China, South Korea and India, a site for the project was selected in France, saint paul les durance Cadarache. The ITER organization was established by international agreement, and clearing and leveling works began on site under the responsibility of the French government. In August 2010, 25 years after the decisive encounter between Reagan and Gorbachev, construction started on the first buildings of the ITER scientific installation. The ITER headquarters was inaugurated in January 2013. Today, the site infrastructure required for first plasma is 80% complete. The assembly of the ITER tokamak was launched in May 2020, with the installation of the first major component, the base of the cryostat. In just a few weeks, the first of nine vacuum vessel sectors, paired with two D-shaped toroidal field magnet coils, will be lowered into the tokamak pit. Scientific exploitation will begin in approximately five years with first plasma. Subsequent periods of experimentation and assembly will bring the machine to its full power configuration and fusion operation in 2035. ITER will open the way to harnessing the energy source of the sun and the stars, fusion, as a clean, safe and unlimited source of energy for humanity.